Hi everyone, so let's talk about the find city with the smallest number of neighbor at a threshold distance. So you are given an n city and it has a traverse from 0 to a minus 1, right? And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Fourier workshop. So if you haven't watched this video, please do so. And I'm going to uh, give you a critic. This person, the professor, explained pretty well. And then he's pretty popular. And if you don't know him, uh, you probably have to uh, learn from him. Uh, and then his video is pretty uh, legit for sure, right? So uh, what he's doing is, uh, his graph is one directional, right? But our graph is two directional. And uh, you need to have a table. This table will give you uh, the initial value and then how many times you have to keep updating based on uh, based on the node, right? If you have four node, right? You will keep updating four times and then you will definitely get an optimal solution. And this is going to be like um, the math proof really so you, you don't need to argue with me so why is four time or why is why is one time right so it depends it depends on how many nodes in your graph like imagine this is four node you have you will keep update updating four times for the for the table so you have row, row and column but you also need to have a number of updating times so which is three for loop and this is going to be five times because there are five nodes all right this is pretty much it, all right? So let me start coding. And I do have a Bellman solution and Dextra solution on my channel. So if you, if you like to watch, just go for it, right? So I have a this of 2D array. I'm passing n by n. And I need to infer every single node, every single cell, sorry, to infinite. So int infinite, right? Equal to int 1. 1e9 plus 7. Alright, now I need to what? Uh, I need the array up. Array does fill this. The i, comma, infinite. So, uh, what is the cost from, from node 0 to node 0? Right? What is the cost from 1 to 1? 2 to 2? 3 to 3? This is definitely going to be what? Cost of 0, right? All right, now uh, this is pretty much it, right? I said everything else to infinite, right? And then I need to traverse. I need to traverse the edge, right? So for int, edge with edges, okay? So I have int, u equal to edges, zero, v equal to edges, one, comma, weight, u equal to edges, two. So uh, I will have to, well, I'll keep updating, sorry, uv, sorry. I will keep updating my path for the weight, right? This, B, U, equal to weight, right? All right, so uh, this is going to be pretty much the initial table like this. And I will have to, well, I will have to keep updating our table. So imagine this one, he explained, and then this one is the first iteration. And then this one is second iteration, and then this is both, right? Sorry, this is four and then so on, right? All right. So this is default one, and then you have four there, four iteration, one, two, three, four, right? And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So, so it's gonna be I'm gonna just call for your workshop. I need to pass in the uh, I need to pass in the uh, this. I need to pass in the I need to pass in what? Uh, level beta, right? Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, I need to pass in this only. I thought I'm writing a function for about this. For the ultra. All right. So the number of time you have to keep updating is based on the based on the end for sure, right? And. For a uh, habit, like we don't want to use i, like i represent what? i represent row, j represent column in this case, right? And it's going to be j equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus, right? So, uh, for the math proof, you will get uh, the the final solution like this, right? You have three duration and then for every single a i j equal to minimum depending on what k a i 
uh, I, K, and K, J, and then you have to compare with A, I, J, right? So this is the math proof. So uh, let's not worry to worry about this. So just well, copy and paste. I mean, you definitely need to watch the video. I'm going to give you the video for sure. But if you don't know what happened, then uh, I, 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 I can help you for sure. So it's going to be I, K. So this is going to be pretty much, pretty much it, right? So, uh, at the end, I'm going to well, I'm going to find out the minimum city, right? So, I will definitely get a final table for sure. So this is what the final table. I'm going to get a final table for sure, and I'm going to traverse every single one of them, right? And then to see is the the current path is within my, within my threshold. Right, I need. Mean, I have a threshold, right? So I'm gonna say, in min city count. Oh, what happened? In min city count equal to n. So I'll say equal to n by default. So min city. So which one is the minimum city? I'll update it in my for loop. Okay, right? I'll have to traverse the table. And then if I go to J, I don't want to I don't want to bother, right? And I need to, I need to have a current current city count equal to zero, right? So if this say I and J is less than or equal to distance threshold, right? Which means what well, I can implement my current city count. Current city count. Right now, uh, I will have to. Uh, I will have to check. Does my main city count is less than equal to uh, current city count? Right. If that is true, current city current city count. If that is true. Uh, sorry, if that is true, I'm going to update my main city count equal to current city. It's supposed to be current city. So I'll update my current city counts and, uh, and also I'll update my main city equal to I. So for example, city 0 has two city, but city 3 also have two city, right? So I will replace city 0 to city 3. And this is supposed to be a solution, so let me see if I have error or not. So I do. So what is this? Uh oh sh I I I I made a typo right here. So this is gonna be plus, right? Alright, I just found found out my mistake. So this should be greater or equal, right? Like if you if your mean city is greater or equal to the current city count, right? You need to update the mean city count. So sorry about this. I I made a table right here. So if the uh, min city is actually starting from n, the largest one, right? And how many city, how many minimum city you can traverse it should be less uh greater or equal. Like if the minimum city is greater or equal to the current city, you can update it, right? So I'm gonna uh, run test case again. So I'm gonna submit. Sorry about the mistake, but it happens. For the typo. And let's talk about the time and space. All right. So in this one, uh, without like without the explanation, I mean it's supposed to be what it's supposed to be n n to the cube, right? So my for wash is supposed to be what n to the cube, right? And for the time, yeah, for the time, and then for the space, it's gonna be n square, right? And this is n square, right? So this is all of n, and inside the helper function, a rest of field is gonna be all of n, so it's gonna be n square total. This all of e e is definitely based on the ages, the length of ages, right? And this is n square, right? So the the worst case, uh, the worst case for the space is going to be n square, and the time is going to be n to the cube, and this is the solution. And I will see you next time. Bye.